guys, do you want to go to the corn maze? Yeah. Should we go to the corn maze or should we go somewhere else? GPS lady <laughs> giving away all my secrets. Yeah. <laughs> There's a pirate. Wait, what the heck? Dude, the hotel is made out of Legos. This is the hotel made out of Legos. Oh my god. Are you guys excited to be at Legoland? Yes. Should we go to Legoland instead of going home? Welcome to Legoland, California. There is so much to see and do here. So many secrets to share. Don't worry, we'll show you around and take you on the rides in the next few videos. But today is our travel day. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the tips and tricks for your next visit. Today is all about our stay at the Legoland Castle Hotel and what you can expect if you stay here too. The theming in this place is next level. We felt like we were literally shrunk down and put into a Lego playset. There are bricks to play with, a wizard casting spells, the princess on the balcony, and the whole nine yards. But remember this kiosk for later. We lost hours because we didn't know what it was and we'll tell you all about it. Plus, we'll share one huge mistake that we made that nearly ruined our trip so that you can avoid doing the same thing. And the lobby has a slide. A slide in the lobby, what? When we checked in, we got these lanyards with some pop badges for the kids. We'll talk about these a lot in our next few videos. There are secret games involved and we won one of them the day after this. They also have power banks available in the lobby for the duration of your trip. It's nice to know they're here, but they're expensive. I'll link what we use in the video description from Amazon for a lot less. Speaking of things you should bring, make sure you pack your own minifigs. You can trade minifigs at Legoland just like you trade pins at Disney. And they've got some good ones, there's Indiana Jones. See these cool paintings? They change pictures from the sides. They're made completely out of Lego pieces and they are all over the hotel. There's also a mystery room that'll tell you jokes if you knock, and these incredible elevators. That's super cool. Yes, yes it is super cool. There's also this small gift shop and the Dragon's Den restaurant. The waiting area has a wheel to spin, but it spins forever. This was literally two minutes later, and I still had to slow it down with my fingers. Dude, now you have to do a silly dance. I also love these bookshelves with the Lego decorations, especially the Lego mice. They also have this sensory guide near most of their play areas. If you have kids on the spectrum, this is a really helpful way to easily identify what stimulations to expect. So cool! There's also a lot of bricks to play with. Make sure you take a few with you. The tables have games and you'll need pieces to play with. From checkers to darts, even a hidden maze game. Our family searched for treasure. Oh, you found a way too. Not all of the tables have one though, so request one. There's also a full bar. It took me a while to figure out how the jester was juggling. Are they hanging from the ceiling with like a fish wire? Or is it a me- Oh no, it's a pole behind them. I've been entranced like all lunch. I've just what been entranced. It's, it's a pole behind them sticking forward that you can't see. That is magical. I love that. So thing. cool. There's even more to discover in this Lego tavern. The fireplace is made out of Lego. There are little hidden touches all around you. Some are more subtle than others. Even the light sconces are made out of Lego. That's just incredible. Oh, I love the guitar. So neat. 
just outside the restaurant is their playground and movie area, where they have a different movie playing every night. into our night's room. We'll have a complete room tour coming soon, so subscribe if you haven't already. Hey look, another mouse. Coolest ice bucket ever. You can buy that ice bucket if you want, too. There's even a secret treasure. What Lego do we get? Ours was a Lego duck. And a single Lego duck. Hey everybody, Future Teacups here, and look, we're gonna talk about this more in a separate video. But the short version is, there's a scavenger hunt that you can use in order to find the combination of that safe that's in your room, and then they give you a prize once you do. But our prize the first night, our very first impression, was a duck. Which, by the way, we found on lego.com as a free reward. Not only is it free, it costs less than any other Lego set. Lego set. that actually includes Lego on the whole site. It's the cheapest one. And a single Duplo brick. So let's be really clear, that's a lousy first impression. But we're going to break it all down later in context. So watch for that. Travel day most looks successful. We'll see what happens. So uh, you saw them uh, check us in. We had a great time. Perfectly great. Went in and they said, yeah, we'll just text you when your room is ready. We got here at like noon. Check-in isn't until four. So that's not unexpected. Of course, we're four hours early. We're not gonna get the room right away. That's normal. Totally, totally cool. They said that they would text us when the room is ready. And then, you know, time rolled on and three rolled on and I didn't worry too much because they actually sell early check-in so I figure if they sell early check-in you're probably not going to get an early check-in if you didn't pay for it and I think that makes sense that's fine it's marketing whatever uh, but then four o'clock rolled around and 4 15 rolled around and I don't have a text so we went down to the lobby just to kind of ask what it uh you know if the room was ready and kind of check on the status of everything it turns out what they didn't tell us and we're, we're putting this in the uh in what you should know you know these vlogs are about what we learned sometimes the hard way. Well, guys, this one was the hard way. What you're supposed to do is give them like your name, phone number, email address, actual address, you know, all the stuff they already have because I have a hotel reservation, by the way, I already have all that, into their computer system and then they will give you a text when your room is ready. But when you put your information in that is when you get in line. We've been at this hotel since noon. And I didn't actually know we needed to do that until 4.30 because they told us they would just text us and did not tell us that was anything that we needed to do. So four and a half hours late. The lady at the counter was very accommodating. Everyone has been very kind and accommodating and, uh, and we've talked to a lot of people. All of them have been very kind, very accommodating. And so she uh, she kind of heard what, what we had gone through and uh, and put us next. She just put us next in line in the queue. And that was very kind of her. It is not gonna go well, but it was very kind of her. Put us next in the queue. Uh, sure enough, a couple minutes later, uh, 
we get our text message, everything is ready, and she's got us all set and knows us and is making sure to give us a little bit of special attention since we've been waiting for four hours and we're kind of told things wrong, which is great. That That's an awesome recovery. Uh, get our room set up and, and everything is good. Except that this room here that we've shown you a little bit is themed to the Lego Knights. The room I requested and booked was a wizard room because my kids are all about magic and wizards and Harry Potter and, and all of that stuff. And, and the kids like the room. The kids really like the room. So, hey everybody, me again from the future. It's me. <laughs> I wanted to let you know I eventually figured this problem out. A lot of things went wrong from a lot of different people, but mostly me. When I booked this trip through our friends and partners at Getaway Today, I booked a quote, knights and wizards room. That's what I booked. That's what I asked for. Now, I wish that they had caught that there are knights rooms and there are wizard rooms and they're not the same thing. But they did give me exactly what I asked for, so you know what? That's on me. I mentioned it to them as a possible training issue, but even then, I pointed out that I'm the one who made the big mistake here. However, if I worked for the Legoland Castle Hotel and I saw a room reservation that came in with the request of a Knights and Wizards room, I'd probably hit reply and just ask, hey, can you confirm which one? Now, I know that's an extra step and it takes a little more time. But honestly, if you're going to be charging people this much money for one night, maybe be willing to send an email. Anyway, once again, full breakdown in context is coming in a future video. In the end, I had a lot of chances to find and fix this months in advance. And I didn't, and I should have. We'll show you how to avoid making that same mistake. Back to present me. You get to go around the whole... Hi. There you go. Thank you. So sorry. I'm just playing with lights. Let's see, oh, apparently. Lights. Apparently you can turn off this bedroom light from the front of the hotel. So sorry. <laughs> We're learning all kinds of things together. That's funny. It's it's been but like I said, the, the, the people have been great. The food was really good. The theming is, is just top notch. The playground was outstanding and we had it to ourselves for like an hour and a half. Like it's been they've been really high highs and there've been some really significant misses. So we'll see what happens. But you know what's really cool? We went into the uh, into the Lego store. I'm digging. Found a bunch of these guys. My Lego store got rid of them as soon as the Marvel minifigs came out. These guys just got tossed out the window. I think they sent them back. Cuz there's no way they sold all the stock that they had in. They just completely got rid of them. And so Legoland has them, so I may have picked up like a dozen of them. <laughs> uh, still can't find Mickey. You know, you can feel, you can kind of feel through the bag and, and see what they might be. Uh, this one is a, uh, there's a dress piece, so it's going to be one of the women. That is, oh, that's Mira. This is going to be an evil queen. No Mickey. Still can't find Mickey. We'll see if they have him in the park tomorrow. We'll see. But at the store, if you want a bag, they charge you for the bags. And like, it's, it's just a, it's a buck or two, but they actually charge you for the bag. However, we did lunch first. If you ask for a to-go box at lunch, they give you this huge thing. Oh my gosh, I have to zoom way back out. Look at this thing. And this is, a, this is not a cheap little bag. Like this is a really nice bag. Like this is, this is gonna be, this is gonna, somebody's Christmas present's gonna get wrapped in this. This is the bag they gave me to hold like the leftover half of a hamburger. And they wanna charge me a dollar for the bag at the store. So uh, go eat first. There's your great tip. If you stuck around this long, hit like because that tip is worth the price of admission. The like button's free. You know what else is free? The subscribe button and the share button. If you are finding some value out of these things, if it's helping you plan your trip, just makes you giggle for the silly things we're going through, then it will help your family and friends go through those same things too. We want to be helpful to you and to your family as you are planning your trips. That's why we're doing these. Try to uh, learn from the mistakes that we make and from the helpfulest, the, the helpfulest. I'm tired. 
the most helpful tips we find along the way, we put them to the test and make sure to bring you the best ones there are. Thanks so much for watching this one. We will see you tomorrow. Well, I don't know if the video comes out tomorrow, but I'm going to Legoland tomorrow and I am so excited to take you with us. So subscribe, hit the all notifications, share it out. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. We ride the teacups. Later, y'all.